So, we are on our way to go pick up Rosine. Got the little bro. He's gonna, sh he's gonna chauffeur me today. Yo, what's poppin'? You know. Brand new wit is hopped in. <laughs> it's so cringy. Well, I mean, like, you you could have made it, but I wouldn't now. Yeah, I got so many broken parts on my car. Then what's one more, you know? You don't really need your, the rear half of your car anyways, it's front wheel drive. Yeah, it's the front half. <laughs> so we're on our way to go pick up Rosine from the shop. Rosine, of course, if you guys saw the last couple videos, it had bad death wobble in the front end due to a loose track bar or track bar mount or bracket or... I don't even remember exactly what he said, but something was loose there. So that's where the death wobble came into play and I had him do some new battery cables and stuff like that just because they were super old and beat up and I hate like not being able to take the battery cables on and off because they're so corroded and beat up from over the years of over tightening, using the wrong size wrench and slightly stripping the nuts on them, stuff like that. Just not cool. So I just had him do those. And then what else was I gonna mention? Oh, there's deer right there. See right there? Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. That's definitely legal. But anyways, it's only illegal if you get caught right. That's what they say. That's pretty much what they say. We're on our way to go get Rosine. And then after that, we're going to come back and throw the 24 by 14s on that thing. And it's going to look freaking sick. So, like, why are we going 20 down the highway? If you knew what happened to me in that truck after I experienced death wobble in this thing, you'd have been going 22. <laughs> I looked back and there was like 20 semis just lined up behind you. I was like, what is he doing? Well, we got a new barn cat, Winkel Schnaut. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding, that's his name. What we're gonna be doing today is putting the 35 by 1550s on Rosine. These are the wheels and tires that were already on Rosine that came off of Frosty, which is a sick engine that we did last winter. So we've had these wheels and tires for a while, but pretty much when they were on Rosine, she couldn't really turn because they were just way too big. Frosty had a seven and a half inch increased front clearance. So it had a five inch lift plus a two and a half inch space from the front. That truck had all kinds of clearance for those wheels and tires. And even with all that clearance, it just hard to clear. It had about a half inch from touching the fender on full lock. This thing, you couldn't turn it at all. So hopefully now we can turn it with no issues. So we're gonna get those swapped on right now. Get into it, bro. Look at that. Not gonna lie, this thing's gonna be huge. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, her exhaust don't be right. What are you doing? Well, good thing I came under here. This is rubbing off the drive shaft, bro. Yeah, it did look kind of stupid going down the highway with tires like. That were like way inside the fenders, you know? Yeah, it looked really bad. Well, I don't think we'll have that problem anymore. I think we got clearance for days, honestly. We never really did like a full overview other than like what I just kind of mentioned about the lift height. Five inch, two and a half inch front. Spacer to add it to make it about a little over seven inches of clearance in the front. It's a rough country lift. We did do the rear blocks as well. You can see those, they're pretty freaking stout. We got the rear blocks in there, the new U bolts. Um, you put the add a leaf in there, the extra leaf there for the rear lift. Oh, yeah, and the axle in the front. So let me show you what we did here. So the axle in the front. If you guys remember me talking about this, the axle was bent. So on the passenger side, you would look down the side of the truck and the wheel, if you got down, the wheel was like tilted in like back. Like for example, you would see about two lugs of tread on all three other sides. But on this side, you would see like one and a half lug of tread with the same wheels on it. Um, because it was tilted in so bad and that was because the, the axle was literally like a banana like it was bad and Devin was I was I told Devin it was a little bit bad I said I think the hub of the axle is a little bit bent or something because new ball joints didn't fix it alignment doesn't fix it he took the axle off we put this new one in that's out of a 96 Dodge and by the way the 96s don't go over perfectly they do work but you do have to make some modifications but anyway, so he got that other axle out and got this one in, and he's like, dude, this axle's like trash. He's like, it's completely bowed. So that was from a front side collision, we think, years back, because my wife, 
obviously she's never wrecked it since she's had it, so it had to have been somebody before that, but they had no idea that that was even like that. And you really didn't notice it unless you like were somebody that was super particular looking down the side of the body lines and trying to, trying to look for it. Because otherwise, driving down the road, you'd never notice that this was a little bit more bent until you put big aftermarket wheels on it. Then you really, you saw the difference, but um, it was pretty bad. So that's all good now. So we got new axle alignment, new front lift, um, new coil trays on that axle because the other ones were kind of kind of rusty. I think that's pretty much it. I mean, I think we're good to go. I think we're get the, ready to get this thing started up and get her on the road. So we're turning the wheel tight. I mean, that was like almost two rotations. Clears, amazing. Sharp, did a couple sharp turns, clears great. Tire pressure might need to be checked. I didn't check the tire pressure. They've been sitting for like a long, long time. They feel a little bit warbly. Like I said, they've been sitting a while, so we're gonna get back, check the tire pressure, and then just get a couple small like rollers past the driveway so you guys can kind of see what it looks like rolling down the road. Good. That thing's wide now. Well, not too wide. But. Well, here's the thing. It looks good now. Remember when it was like really low and looked yeah. super beefy, but you couldn't really drive it? Now it's like tall yeah. and beefy, but the wheel wells look like you can actually use the wheels and tires. Like I turned sharp out of the driveway a couple times and it just, yeah. it just whipped right out. It looks good down the road. Oh yeah. Like, oh man. I'm not gonna say I'm jealous, but I'll just put a strong vibe out there that I might be just a little bit. <laughs> this thing is awesome. Yeah, it's sweet. That's gonna be it for Rosine today. Looks good. Let me know down in the comment section below. Do you guys think we should do something like this again for our next truck giveaway? Yes or no? I'm leaning towards second gen. Not really too biased, 24 valve versus 12 valve this time around. Pretty much either way is good with me as long as it's not a 53 block 24 valve, just because I know that some people are funny about that. What do you guys think? Should we do a second gen next? And should we do it up like this? Oh yeah, see this? Could be yours. LMPgear.com. Get entered. Starts up every time now. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. We'll catch you in the next video. Peace.